It is January 1st, first day of the new year, 2023, and I think we're about to go pick up a collection. So we had made a Facebook ad on Facebook Marketplace a few days ago, probably three days ago, and we've had a lot of people inquiring about collections that they wanna sell, and we had someone send us a spreadsheet with some slabs. They don't wanna be recorded, which is totally cool with us. So we're gonna show you on the way there, and then when we get back, we'll show you the whole collection if we pick it up. Collections like these are awesome. It's not too often we get calls from people that are pretty local. Sometimes you gotta drive an hour, over an hour, maybe two hours, three hours to find some stuff. But he's only 15 minutes away. We're pretty excited. We're almost there. We'll be there in about five minutes. And then hopefully we can pick up the collection for a decent price. And then if we get it inside the car, we'll show you guys once we get back home with everything. All right, everybody. It was a success. We just got back home. Let me show you guys what we just picked up because I'm still kind of in shock. Sarah's trapped inside. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are full. Darth Vader statue. He gave us a few Star Wars statues at the end as we were leaving. Just threw them in there. Really, really cool stuff. So excited to get these. The guy that sold it to us said that he does have the boxes and he'll give them to us at a later date. This thing's pretty cool. This one's a nice heavy one. It was only one long box and then like half a box of slabs, but let me show you guys. There was some really cool stuff. So you got a print here and then you got Neil Adams signed. Yeah, so he said that he bought this from a booth that Neil was at and he was selling them. So this is 401 out of 1000. And Angelo's pretty excited about this poster here. <laughs> v for Vendetta. Tell me that's not sick. <laughs> Already framed. That's gonna look great on the wall. Plus with this, definitely upgrading. This thing is awesome though. I don't know if it's an authentic signature. He said he bought it from a comic book shop that said it was authentic, but you got Alex Ross on Superman. Yeah, this is a great, great poster, especially, I mean, it looks authentic. So we're gonna get into some research and look at Alex Ross's signatures more, but definitely really cool. Yeah, something you don't see too often at all. I'm not too experienced in signatures and, and sign stuff, so I'm not sure what these are all worth. So if you guys have any idea down below, let me know. And then we have this Superman statue, which is really cool. He actually had it out of the box, but he put it back in there. So we got the original box, one six scale pre-painted PVC statue. Oh, here's my other Star Wars statue. The lightsabers inside there too. These things are so cool. This is Greg Horn. He's got that signed. And then inside here, if you take the Greg Horn out, he has the J. Scott Campbell Megacon. 51 out of 250, signed by Campbell. That's awesome. Oh, oh that's whoa, cool. Whoa, that's sick. Who's that signed by? I, I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. Comment down below if you know that signature. And then you showed him this one? Yeah, that's the Greg Horn one. I think there's more than one in here though. Greg Horn signed. I like the gloss finish on this one. Oh, this is the one he was saying was addressed to him. Oh, but it's got a little Batman remark right there. So here is the last little bit of the art. We got this one. I'm not sure who else signed it. It looks like it's triple signed. Comment down below if you know the other two signatures, but definitely a really cool print with Spidey and Mary Jane on there. It was really nice of him to leave them in the frames. And then we got another Greg Horn. Yeah, he said Superman was his favorite. So definitely a lot of cool Superman stuff in this collection. These were some of the Silver Age he had that he said didn't fit inside the box. So you got Superboy, you got Superman 232. That's a great cover. Avengers issue 21, Power Man. And then you have Thor with Journey into Mystery on 122. House is filling up. We got our statues. I don't know if I want to take it fully out of the box. I think it's in a few different boxes. So this is a Superman kryptonite statue. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, so it comes in a really cool box. This kryptonite prop replica. You got the little card in there. Very cool. Yeah, you can turn it on and it lights up. Where's the button at? Somewhere. Oh, there it there is. There we go. And then so it's got, got a nice glass little, on the top. Little statue collection going here. Yeah, right? All right, so that should be it for the statues. There is some slabs we picked up and a whole long box that has a bunch of cool things in it too. So let's show you guys the rest of the collection. This box was just some extra supplies. Oh, should we save that for later? The best one? What is it? The sketchbook. 
Oh, the sketchbook. Should we do that right now? Let's show them the sketchbook after. Okay, we'll show them the sketchbook after. You guys, you guys don't need to see that right now. So this is just some extra stuff. We'll put that to the side. <laughs> but we got a almost full box here of some slabs. A lot of signed stuff too. Signed by Andy Cooper. We got Action Comics 977. Got the signature down here. Love these yellow labels for CGC. Action Comics 1000 and a 98. The Bulletproof Virgin exclusive, Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 2, Issue 36. This one's definitely a hard one to get in the 9-8 because it has that all black cover, but this is the 9-11 story on ASM 477. Daredevil 300, signed by Lee Weeks in a 9-4. Excalibur 57, signed by Scott Lobel and Joe Moderati. <laughs> Hard to say. <laughs> hard, hard one on that one. But, but double cool sign, nine, six. Yeah. Then we got a nice Sin City signed by Frank Miller himself in a 9-6. First appearance of Dwight on this issue. Yeah, this is sick. This one's going to be hard not to put in the PC. Mm -hmm. I don't have any Frank Miller signed stuff, so this is this is great. Then we got the first appearance on Suicide Squad number one in a 9-4. And we do already have one of these, but not signed by Campbell. So this is really cool. Gen 13 number one in a 9-6, that beautiful variant cover G. But this one has the Campbell signature. Signed by Peter David, Incredible Hulk, Future Imperfect number one in 9-6. First Maestro and Janice. Cool black and white cover on Redneck number one, the silver foil cover. This one is signed by Donny Cates and Lissandro Estherin. This one's the EMP Museum exclusive variant in a 9-8. This one is signed by Jason Aaron. Got an X-Factor number one, signed by Bob Layton in a 9-6. Love all these signatures. This is the first collection we've gotten with so many signed slabs, which is really great because we honestly don't have that many of them. Walking Dead 108, 9.8, first appearance of Ezekiel. This is a great book. 9.2. Claremont signature on this one. Wolverine the Origin number one. This one's signed by Paul Jenkins. Superman and confidential number one signed by Tim Sale and Darwin Cook. Superman 52 signed by Dan Jurgens and Peter Tomasi. I don't think we're pronouncing that. Yeah, sorry. Right. I'm really bad at pronouncing. <laughs> that one's cool though. Oh, Adam Kubert signature on Ultimate X-Men number one in a 9-6. Really cool sketch cover on this one too. The best for last. Venom 1 in a 9-8. Look at the signatures on this. This yeah. is the Quinones variant cover B signed by McFarlane, Cates, Quinones and Stegman. With the McFarlane signature in a 9.8, this thing has to be pretty hard to find. I can't find any comps with all the signatures on there. So this is a great book. It's probably gonna go in Sarah's PC though for a little bit. Definitely a cool pickup. Probably the best one from this collection in my opinion. Comment down below and let us know what you think it is. All right, so we're gonna go through the raw books now. I looked a little bit while we were there, but to be honest, between the signed stuff, the sketches and the slabs, I really didn't wanna take up too much of his time. I knew it was a pretty fair deal, but let me show you guys because there is some great stuff in here. He was a big Frank Miller fan, so he's got a lot of these um, like Sin City Frank Miller books. For the most part, they're all in really nice shape. This was his personal collection. So he took real good care of everything. This is a great cover. I think it's an Alex Ross cover. Those are cool covers with Darth Vader. And then, oh, look at that. I didn't even see oh, that that's one. that's cool. 608. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Follow me. So now, I got 608 second print and first print. All right, so right off the bat, we got two pretty cool books. This one's in really nice shape too. Whole run of Crisis on Infinite Earth. So it's complete. You have one, two, three, two issues of seven. So one direct and one newsstand. Death of the Flash, I think, on that one. There's nine, 10, 11, and 12. Really nice complete set. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna hold on to that. More Frank Miller, there's book one, book two from the Ronin. Green Arrow. Whoa, look oh, at this. Wow. I don't know who signed this. I'm gonna have to put that one to the side too. Giant Killer, book one. I'm not too familiar with Giant Killer. Well, that's Clean nice copy one. on yeah. 201. Put that to the side. Some action comics. The die cut covers. Looks like he has a whole, oh, he has a oh, whole set here. Whole set. Nice. Death of Superman. Michael Turner. Oh, wow, he's got the. Oh, he's got the set. The set. Oh, and he's got him on this one too. So you got the 812. I think that's the second print. I think this is a key of some sort. Andy Kubert variant on 844. Hold on to that one. These go perfect with my 608 second prints. 204, 205 Jim Lee, but then look. He's got the 205 Superman on uh, with Michael Turner. I think this one is something here. Let me look that up real quick. Yeah, it's the first appearance of Black Mercy. It's like a um, holographic killer? thing, yeah. Oh, this is cool. We've actually had one of these before. Oh yeah, look at the signatures on there. On the back, the yeah. Away. Dan Jurgens, Joel Rubenstein, and Brett Breeding. Really cool Jim Lee variant. 
one in 100. This is a verified Alex Ross signature, right? With the COA on the back. So look at these two signatures. They look very similar if you ask me, but comment down below if you think that the signature on this art print here is a legit Alex Ross signature. Look at that bulge. That's funny. It says, <laughs> Roman, look at that bulge. <laughs> it says, stay off crack. Roman, stay off crack. <laughs> That's funny. He does have the signed one in there, but then he's got the gold foil number one, the like embossed gold foil. And then here's the silver. Not sure what these are worth. And then we got a spawn one. We got a nine first Angela. And then look at this. Let's see what the grade is because I didn't look at it. This in high grade is worth a few bucks. Yeah, it's a little bit beat up. Alex Ross, Spider-Man number one. And then you got the Hastings variant. Dazzler number one. That's a solid one. The New Mutants number one. And then this is a cool book here. Gotta look into this though. It's a really beat up copy. 49, Darth Vader. Oh, look at that. That's a cool sketch cover. Dr. Afra. They got the Loot Crate exclusive. Fan Expo. You got Terry uh, uh, Terry Dodson and Rachel Dodson, number 16 variant. That one, that one, and that one. Very cool. One, two, three, four, five, and six complete. Wow, that's nice. Oh, and look at this too, forgot. I wonder if it's got the Deadpool cartridge. Oh, I wonder, let's check. No, it's the cable. Oh, it's the cable. But then we got number two, second appearance of Deadpool. First appearance of the real Domino. You have the 25, and then this is a great one. Oh yeah, that's a great one. 157. Some nice uncanny. 184 and 201. There's a little bit of a key on 201. You got Sylvester on 251. You got Bishop on 282. First Bishop, then they have 283. Let's show you guys the final thing with the collection. It's something really awesome and something I had no idea until we went to go pick it up was there because it was something that I was not expecting. <laughs> this is the the big one. All right, so he gave us a little, a little key with all the sketches and the signatures on here. So we got Jim Lee, Lee Bermejo, Kevin, Tone, Rodriguez, Adam Hughes, and Phil Noto. He was a really big Superman fan, so he has the sketchbook full of Superman sketch and signatures. Jim Lee. Yeah, it's even got the signature. Really cool. Then you got Lee Bermejo, Kevin Lau, or Lou, I think is his last name. You got Tone Rodriguez, Adam Hughes, and Phil Noto. Six really cool Superman sketches. So we definitely wanted to pick this up when we saw this in the collection. None of them have COAs, but obviously they are authentic. He got them all done throughout conventions over the past years. Comment down below and let us know what your favorite sketch is. Hope everyone enjoyed watching the video of our first collection pickup of 2023. We hope to see you throughout the year. Thanks for watching.